Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, it is so great to have you. I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in the beautiful wine region of Lower Franconia, Germany. I have been living here for 13 years now, I cannot believe it. I've been doing a lot of reminiscing lately about my life when I first moved to Germany compared to what my life is like now and I can honestly say after all these years I feel so at home here in Germany and I've mentioned this a few times in videos but I want to get into a little bit more detail about why I feel at home in Germany finally. That does not take away my love for New Zealand and my identity as a New Zealander. I will always be a New Zealander and I will always hold New Zealand so close to my heart but I have two homes now in New Zealand and Germany and there is no shame in admitting that I'm happy here in Germany and this is where I want to be and I think a lot of expats struggle with this whole concept. Many expats struggle to integrate, they don't even want to try to integrate and over the years I've realized the main reason for this is they feel scared, they're worried that they are somehow turning their back on their home country and their identity. I can tell you right now this is one of the biggest mistakes you can make when moving to a new country. Nothing Thing will ever change your identity. You are who you are. This doesn't mean you can't embrace another country and another culture. Embracing the country you have moved to and making a real effort to integrate will not only help you feel happier and more content, it will also help you to understand your home country more, which is a beautiful thing. So in this video today, I thought I'd talk about five reasons why I finally feel at home here in Germany as a New Zealander. So I'm going to be jumping into that really soon, but first I would like to give a huge thanks to today's sponsor, Ana Luisa. Happy birthday, Ana Luisa. Their company started up back in 2018. I have been a partner of Ana Luisa since 2019, and I wear their jewelry every single day without fail in all of my videos. Their jewelry is not only gorgeous, it is incredibly high quality. It is long lasting, tarnish resistant, and very, very reasonably priced. Ana Luisa designs start at just 39 euros and they often have really great sales so you can pick up a beautiful piece of their sustainable jewellery for a very reasonable price. So I just wanted to show you some of my most loved and treasured Ana Luisa pieces. So these are the Paris Twisted Hoop earrings. I absolutely adore these. They are just so stylish and so classy. I feel a million bucks when I'm wearing them. I'm also wearing the Lev Puffed Heart Necklace, one of my all-time favorites. My mum has a matching one. I adore this necklace. I wear this so often and I always feel fabulous in it. The Mesh Greenstone Necklace is an Ana Luisa classic. This one is truly stunning. This necklace definitely makes a statement. It's such an eye catcher and whenever I wear it, I get so many compliments. Next up are the Ash Double Hoop Earrings. I wear these on repeat. I feel like these are a little bit edgy and they instantly elevate any outfit that I wear. If you're interested in checking out Ana Luisa I have left a link for where you can do so in my description below to celebrate their birthday they are currently having a buy more save more sale site-wide so if you buy two items you get 20% off buy three items get 25% off and buy four plus items and get 30% off okay so in no particular order one of the reasons why I finally feel at home here in Germany is because I actually gave Germany a chance and I know that when things get tough it can be easy or it can be your natural instinct to want to run, run for the hills and there were many times that I struggled with integrating into German culture and I struggled with life here, I struggled to feel happy here in Germany but I didn't give up. Once you get past those really brutal culture shocks, that really hard stuff that make moving to a new country really uncomfortable and excruciating sometimes, once you get past that you realize that it's only gonna go up from there. I'm not talking about that honeymoon stage when you first move to Germany and everything is so wonderful and romantic and new and exciting. I'm talking about that stage after the honeymoon stage where you realize this is my life and things are a lot different here and people are different, the language is different. 
it really shakes you up and it can be very easy just to run away and say no this is too hard this is in the too hard basket I'm out of here I'm so pleased I didn't do that I'm so pleased I didn't just run for the hills as soon as things started to get a little bit difficult you hear a lot of expats even here on YouTube who have lived in Germany for say a year and they make videos just whinging about Germany or videos titled why I left Germany and I'll realize they've only been living in Germany for like two months or a year if that it'll just be them whinging about why Germany sucks because they do things a little bit differently to their home country have I been guilty of this maybe I have but honestly you just cannot judge a country based on a few months of living there when you're in that culture shock stage okay moving on one of the reasons why Germany feels like home to me now is because I made the effort to learn the German language which you know it's an obvious one it's very very hard to feel at home in a country where you don't speak their native language I've talked about this so many times on my channel but I cannot stress enough about the importance of learning German if you are living in Germany and so many native English speakers don't feel as though they really need to learn German because everyone speaks English well not everybody but most Germans speak some level of English and they can get by speaking English honestly relying on English can only get you so far I'm not talking about being amazing and fluent in German after like a year or two or even three years I'm talking about actually making the effort to learn German from scratch you know getting down to basics and not being worried about how you sound learning a foreign language is one of the bravest things you can do honestly the amount of discomfort you feel when you are opening your mouth to speak a language that is not your mother tongue for the first time it's hard it takes so much courage and it is so worth it you're gonna feel so much better about your life in Germany when when you start to understand conversations around you when you can actually have basic conversations with natives it is the best feeling something that really held me back in the first few years I was living in Germany was the fact I was just so scared to speak German I've been open about this in quite a few videos actually but I was just so worried about what Germans thought about me I thought that they were secretly laughing at my terrible accent and my great grammar and just everything I just felt so ashamed and it's so ridiculous when I look back I shouldn't have been worried about that kind of thing because everybody has to start somewhere with learning a language I've said this before and I'll say it again Germans in general are just so kind and patient when you are trying to learn their language and I've never felt judged or I've never felt like somebody's laughing at me Honestly, I've only ever felt encouragement from Germans and I don't know why I was so worried about learning German because Germans have not made me feel like that. It's it's myself, it's like the expectations I had on myself. My German is still, after all these years, not perfect, but I, I don't care. I don't care if I make mistakes. I just am happy that I'm able to communicate, that Germans can understand me. And the more I speak, the more I socialize and interact with Germans, the more comfortable I feel. It's just about fighting that initial natural instinct to want to stay in your comfort zone. You need to just really push yourself and get out there and trust me trust me no one is going to judge you people are going to have respect for you actually and you just need to just get over that all open your mouth doesn't matter how you sound and just try and speak German okay so another reason why Germany feels like home is because Germany is my children's home all three of my children were born and so far raised here in Germany so Germany is everything to them it's everything they've ever known of course they've traveled to New Zealand they've spent time in New Zealand but Germany is the country they consider home and my children are my everything so this is my heart and these are my three children and there's basically no difference they are my heart my everything 
and because Germany is their home it's my home as well and anywhere that I am with my children is home to me. This whole concept has really brought me peace and it's really helped me settle here in Germany just knowing that my children feel so happy and safe and content with their life here in Germany. This is a life that myself and my husband have created for our children and I love my family, I love our life and we just have so many beautiful memories here in Germany and we continue to create beautiful memories every single day. So moving on to the next point, this is related to my last point and one of the reasons I feel at home here in Germany is because I have really embraced German culture and I just, I love German culture, I get so into it. I love the German festivals and carnivals and markets and food and traditional costumes, I just love all of it and I embrace all of it. Also seeing my kids get excited and embracing all of these unique aspects of German culture gets me excited and it really gets me out of my comfort zone and pushes me out there into the community a little bit and I think feeling that sense of community is so important for feeling at home in a country, feeling like you belong. Okay, so moving on to the last point, this is also related. And one of the reasons why I finally feel at home here in Germany is because I feel as though I have a community. It's taken me so long to get to this point. So if you're watching this and you've just moved to Germany, don't think that I all of a sudden had this amazing big community and lots of friends and that type of thing, because that is not true. It took me years to get to this point. I'm at the point now where I've got my group of expat friends from native English speaking countries and I also have German friends and you know I have acquaintances and neighbours who I I really really like and get on with. I've talked a lot about my particular neighborhood here in Germany and that it's very family orientated and I just feel this really beautiful sense of community here and it's taken a long time to build that up but I'm at the point where I do feel at home here. We built our house around three years ago now and over that time I've really got to know people on my street in my neighborhood through different events. We have a street festival which I've talked about before where our neighborhood gets together like everyone on our street gets together once a year during summertime and we have a big grill party and it's just really really fun and a great way to get to know people in the neighborhood. Actually just the other day my family and I were invited to this very spontaneous get together with some other families on my street. We just got together one evening, it was a Thursday evening and we all brought along a plate of food and the adults drank Fettervisor. If you're from Germany you'll know what Fettervisor is and it was just a really fun evening. I just felt so honored to be invited to this get together and it just really meant a lot to me it made me feel like part of the community and made me feel at home here in Germany so just little things like that mean so so much to me as a foreigner living here so anyway guys I really hope you enjoyed this video I know I've mentioned a few times in previous videos that I have finally started to feel at home here in Germany after so many years and I thought I would just go into a little bit more detail on why I feel at home here also before I go I wanted to remind you that Ana Luisa is having a big birthday sale going on right now. It's a buy more, save more sale. So if you buy two items, you get 20% off. Buy three items, you get 25% off. And buy four plus items and get 30% off. I'll leave a link for where you can check out Ana Luisa in my description below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love you to consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Feel free to connect with me on Instagram. And I will see you again really soon. Bye.